Shadow Claw X, it's your turn. Sorry if I was going up and down with a whole bunch of videos I uploaded. I was just getting some stuff out of the way. Time to do episode 2. And for those who think I didn't do episode 1, I actually did episode 1 last year. My reviewing skills wasn't that great, but now I got in the hang of it. Shadow Claw X, you're going to have the same treatment like Kevin Mason. The following is a non-profit fanbase parody. Bush no Kevin and Curry Rapic Edger is on my high lap, Wolf Strength, 4 kids, Nintendo, and Mashiro Sakurai. Please support official release. Spinning his thing around. I've already covered this, but not clearly when I was reviewing live action Zelda. Now, who was responsible of writing this episode? Shadow Claw X and I Hug Short People. I know who thought of that joke, but you know what? I'm not gonna be pointing fingers. I'm just going to explain how this joke works and how it doesn't work. With abridges, you usually expect the unexpected, like adult humor, sexual contact, switching up personalities, and etc. Now, here's the confusion. When I first heard that, I laughed because it was out of contact for some viewers. Some people have dirty minds and some doesn't. People who hear this for the first time without a dirty mind won't find this funny. They'll just continue watching the video. And the people with dirty minds will get the joke, but it might fall flat because we probably won't be thinking that the writers would attempt to do in that joke. We probably might be thinking the writers was trying to make DDD sound funny when he said that line. Turns out the writer said that they was trying to make that joke. Well, writers, I guess you could have thought of something else or at least made it clearer. Oh, hey, King DDD. Looking mighty fine today. Forget that. I need an extra large pepperoni pizza with extra cheese. I'll get back to this piece of thing later. After Kirby fails at life, he went up a tree and saw a bird and the bird is a jerk. The next day Tiff and Tuff helps Kirby finds a job, they never explained why. And actually this is the highlight of the entire episode. Kawasaki is the best character in this whole abridged series hands down. Kawasaki has better scenes in the future, but this is the beginning of Kawasaki. What the hell do you guys want? Well, since you're a great chef, maybe Kirby can help you in the kitchen. Well, okay. We're gonna be great fuck buddies. I I mean, friend. King Fat Ass, what brings if you- Don't look him in the eye. What the hell, Kirby? Here, yeah, don't fuck me again. Get out of here, you pink son of a bitch. I'm hungry. King Fat Ass, what brings if you- Don't look him in the eye. This scene bugs me. S. Cargoon says, don't look him in the eyes, and the very next scene, they forgot about that. Shadow Claw, please tell me you did not write that part. It looks like you did, considering you voice S. Cargoon. Kirby is the most dead character in this episode. His emotion doesn't match his reaction, and it feels awkward. But what if I told you it was funny? Yup. Despite the dead performance, it's so bad, it's funny. Ah, <laughs> uh, take that, Pinky. Oops. Ouch. Uh oh. Oh boy. Get out of here, you pink son of a bitch. I will excuse Kirby, but for the rest of you crappies and King and others, you're not excused. After Kirby fails at life again and even explode a gas station with the same sound effects from episode one, yeah. Very original. What the fuck? They had a house for Kirby. Wait, what? So that's why Kirby was finding a job? So he could have money for a house? I know in the show that it happens, but in this abridged series, they never mention it. Not even once. You know, guys, you know you can take advantage of it. Like, for example, if you guys never mentioned it in the beginning and you went to this scene, you could have made the Birdman say, Are you guys going to build a house for Kirby or what? Might as well because you guys never mentioned it whatsoever in the beginning. And then Tiff's all like, That's a great idea! Pinkie Pie, we need your help! You get the picture. You let them build a house for Kirby? It ain't my fault! <laughs> Tell me that! Fine. If I can't do it, Sniggy, 
I'll just have to do it freaky. I have something freaky. This is a kid's show. Not in Japan. Whatever! Just send it! I ask for pizza and you send me tofu? Okay. I want answers. In the beginning, yeah, I told you guys we was gonna come back here. DDD asked for pizza in the beginning of the episode, and now we're towards the end, and he asking for his late pizza? Better question would be, why would he be expecting pizza if he wants something to ruin Kirby's house? This whole episode is out of contact, and I think that's the main problem with this episode. No explanation, randomness, you name it. After DDD blew up Kirby's house... Hey man... What the hell? DDD gave Kirby a present, and the yeah. present tries to kill him. And then Meta Knight showed up to see if Kirby has his money. But Kirby didn't, so he left. Meta Knight says Kirby barely improved. This is the second episode, and you're telling me... You know what? You know what? Never mind. I might be wrong, but, you know, because, you know, Kirby could have been doing something between episode 1 and 2. Yeah, something between those gaps. After Kirby gave that thing a beatdown, Kirby enjoys his new home. But not as much because of this yellow piece of whatever. And Kirby gets to live in a tree. The end. I um, I think I need I, I think I need to review more. I, I think I need to oh my I, I can't even I, I can't even process anything, man. I think I need to review more of my little pony or something. The story was basic, the jokes was a missed opportunity, and the writing gotten a little bit lazy at times. Wow. If I reviewed this back at 2015, I won't find none of this stuff I pointed out. You guys was writing this episode together. How can y'all mess up something like this? Overall, this episode was blind to itself, and the two writers who done this, next time look over your script about like 3 or 4 times. I'm giving this a 5 out of 10. Why the half? Because Kirby and Kawasaki, that's why. This is Supersonic War 15 saying... Keep running. Episode 3, let's go. I'll do 